Hey, this is Carrie with Canary Quilts, and we are on week 28 of our Dear Jane Quilt Along. Yay! <laughs> so, we are making so much progress on this, and I'm so happy that a lot of you are following along and either starting it or finishing it. I know a lot of people have started this quilt and not finished it. I think I read somewhere that it might be the one pattern that gets started the most but never finished. So that's not what's going to happen here. We are finishing this. So um, hit the subscribe button, notification bell if you're new here and you want to go on this journey with us or you want to do all the other fun stuff and just watch this. Anyway, let's populate my color chart like I do every week and then we can talk about the blocks because we've got three applique blocks and one of them is an applique that I'm going to modify. So, and I'll show you why I'm going to modify it. Um, but anyway, let's put my blocks in. So we are going to start with E11 Wagon Wheel. Then we've got F13 Tour de France. G11 Decisions, Decisions. That's how I feel all the time. L4 St. George's Cross. And then BR2 Lee's Woods. And we need to rotate that twice. There we go. Look at all the colors in that quilt. So I am going to go over to my block work table and I'm going to start um, on one of the on the modification I'm going to do this week. If you're not doing EQ8 with me, I have the time codes to the construction of the blocks in the description down below this video. So you can jump ahead to that. So let's start with our first block that I'm going to modify. This is E11 Wagon Wheel. So this is, if we go over here to draw, you can see that it is an applique. So if we take the applique away, it's just one five inch square in the background. So it's all applique. But let's look at the applique. So we have a circle in the center. And then we have this shape on top of it, this center shape on top of that circle. And then we have these corners. I don't particularly, I don't want these corner appliques. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw this so that the corners are free, but I'm going to have this applique. And this is not a very good drawing, but this is what I want. And then the center I'm going to cut out with the circle. So this whole area out here that I'm drawing in is going to be the applique that I want. So we've done something similar to this before, but we always had to make a new block. But since this is a pieced and applique block, I can just start working in this block. I want to work on the applique layer and I want to start drawing my shape. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a straight line from this corner wedge over to this corner wedge. And you can see I've got a blue line there. Then I'm going to go over here to Bezier Curve and I'm going to start where I left off and do my curve shape here. And now I have to edit my curve shape. I'm going to zoom in so I can do that. So edit, grab my um, the line I just made, and let's start working it in to be where I want it to be. And that looks pretty good. Yep, that looks pretty good. So let's come back out. I now want to go back to draw. I want to draw a straight line from where I left off on the right hand side straight down to here. And then I'm going to do the same thing in this corner and I'm going to do it all the way around where I'm going to draw the straight line and then a curve around this. Edit my curve until I get to the end.
So you can see it just filled it in because I completed it up here. I need to edit this curve that I just did. I need to zoom in on that to edit and go till I can't see white anymore. There we go. All right. So let's zoom out and we can pick. We need to go pick and I want to get rid of these corners. There's the shape I want. So I'm going to choose this shape. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say send to back. And that brings my other two shapes out front. And that's all I want because I'm going to use this circle template to cut out of the piece I just did. So I will only have applique that is the one I drew and this star shape in the middle, whatever you want to call that. So that's how I'm doing it. Just I just don't want the appliques in the corner. Um, and that's just me. So let me know how you're going to do it. Um, if you made any modifications to this or if you did it the way that they um, had it in here. So let's take a look at, I need to color this because this is not colored correctly. Yep. All right, so I need to color this correctly. Let's see, eyedropper, I want this. So I want to paint. That's all right. Okay, and then I want eyedropper here, and I want to paint it in there. So that's what our block's actually going to look like with my applique. That's my applique. So I will have a large square in the background and this white right here will be what's peeking out from the background. So I won't be making these curves or anything. I'm just going to be placing this center and this piece right here. All right, there we go. Let me know how you're doing it. So on to the next one. All right, this is a simple applique. Um, print templates preview. And that's what it's going to look like. So we just have to place these when we get them cut out. So that's going to be fast and easy. Next one is, let's see, that was F13 Tour de France. So G11 Decisions Decisions is it's a nine patch with applique. And you can see that right here. So I... You can do rotary cutting, you can do templates, you can do foundation. I'll probably do foundation. That's what I like to do. That's what it looks like. It's going to be pretty simple. And then I need to go to templates and print just this D piece for my applique right here. And I can delete these. So that one's going to be another easy one. And then we have L4 St. George's Cross. This is what it looks like. Let's see what the foundation paper piece. Yep, simple. That's going to be fun. So other than modifying these, uh, I think we're going to have a pretty non-labor intensive week. So looking forward to that. All right, let's see what that preview looks like. Yep, there we go. All right, we don't want to forget our um, border block either. This is BR2 Lee's Woods. And to me, this looks like it's going to be a nice foundation paper piece. And it is. So there we go. Um, oops, let's, uh, let's just preview the pieces. Yeah, they're just pretty simple pieces to put together. It's going to be fun and it's going to be beautiful. There we go. There's the blocks. Hit the subscribe button notification bell and um, let's get started making these blocks. All right, let's get started on E11 for our week 28 Dear Jane Quilt Along. I modified this so that I wouldn't have um, two pieces of applique sitting on top of each other right here. So what I'm going to do is there is a circle template for this which would have been an applique, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my circle out and then I'm going to draw it onto here and cut out this center and then my star piece here will fit inside that center. And then both of these are going to go on to my background right here. 
So that's what I've done. I have cut my background, which is a five inch square. I have traced on the solid line right here for this piece on diffusible webbing. And then also on the solid line for this one, I pieced on diffusible webbing. So these two are all ready to go, except I need to cut my circle out of this piece. So I'm gonna get my template cut out and show you how I'm gonna do that. Okay, I have cut out my template that's on my um, dark piece from the fabric and I've cut out my template for the circle. I've creased them so that I can find my point on both of these. I'm going to send my pin through the point of both of these right at the center so that I can find where this lines up. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my creases up on both pieces. So there, I've got my centers lined up, I've got my creases lined up. Now I'm going to trace my circle. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to get my circle cut out of this piece. All right, there's my circle cut out and then I cut my star piece out that goes in the center of this. I want to put this on so that I have a quarter of an inch available on the outside of my entire piece. And then when I'm done with that, putting that piece on, I'm going to put this one in the center, lining my points up with the edges of my circle. And then it will look like that one. So there you go. I'm gonna get this all set up and get it fused down and um, I'll be done with that block. There we go. It's fused down and I am going to be appliquing at the end of all my blocks when I'm done. So E11 wagon wheel. All right, up next is F13 Tour de France, another applique. Um, we're gonna have two circles and two petals and I have cut my background piece it's ready to go and it's a five inch square and I have traced on the solid line my petals and circles onto fusible webbing it's onto my fabric so all I have to do now is cut out my pieces and start arranging them on my background so that it looks like that piece right there I got my pieces cut out I've temporarily laid them down I haven't pulled the fusible webbing off but I pretty much just laid them down circles in the corner make sure that there's a quarter of an inch on each side and um, I laid these down pointed them towards the center quarter of an inch on each side and um, I think it looks pretty good everything looks kind of even so that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm just kind of eyeballing it so there you go I'm gonna get these fused down there we go fused down Tour de France F13 is finished. Two very easy blocks right in a row. Next is G11 Decisions Decisions. This is a combination of either paper piece or rotary cutting if you want to do it that way. It's a nine patch so it's pretty easy to put together. And applique. So these diamonds you see floating out here are applique. So that's what I have up here. I have traced these out on the solid line. Um, this is my center square, and then these two are the others um, that you see here, the, the dark squares and the uh, white rectangles. So that's pretty easy to put together, especially on week 29, or week 28, sorry, week 28. So I'm gonna put my nine patch together and I'm gonna get these cut out and then we'll come back and put them on. So there you go third block this week and super easy. Oh, I also wanted to mention that I have my cut pieces out on my website if you want to use my cut pieces. Um, the link is in the description down below this video. There's my background. Pretty easy to put together paper piece or rotary cutting. And uh, I am now just going to take my appliques and I'm just going to kind of center them. Like that. So my fusible webbing 
does come back up if I look at it and I don't like where it's at when I'm all done. Um, you could measure up from the inside block, but I really think that just eyeballing this is going to be, it's going to be just fine. There we go. I'm going to get it fused down. Phew, we are getting a break today. There we go. G11 Decisions Decisions. Let me know if you paper piece the back or if you rotary cut and sewed it together. All right, get started on L4 St. George Cross. And this one, we have five sections here. They're all pretty much constructed the same. It's just their sizes are different. So I think I'll put together one of these and that can be applied to the rest of them. My pieces are these dark squares or what's in the corners and this center. The um, rectangles are right there, the dark ones. These longer rectangles are inside here and then these two shorter ones are what's in the corners. So you can find my cut pieces on my website and that link is down below in the description down below this video if you want to use my cut pieces. All right, let me get set up to do this piece. I'm ready to put this piece together. I have gone ahead and put these together. They are not hard at all. Follow the numbers and you'll get your pieces done pretty easily. So, first, um, the first one is in this corner. Second one is one of these white strips. I have drawn out my pieces on the back. So I'm gonna start with my dark square and I'm just gonna butt it up against over top of the two, I should say. Because that's about a quarter of an inch. And we want to, we're going to be sewing on that line right there. So, got coverage there. I'm going to line this up. It's the same size as my square. So, I'm just going to butt them together. And now we will sew on this line right here between B1 and B2 and lock stitch right there. There's my first two pieces. Now we're gonna put on our third um, white rectangle. We're just gonna fold it on that line. I think I probably did. I don't have much to cut off. And take our next rectangle. And you can see where I need coverage to is right here. So I want to make sure I'm a quarter of an inch past that with my piece. And here's my seam allowance. So there's the edge of my fabric and there's the seam allowance. So we can now sew right here on B3, right above it. Lock stitch over here at this corner. First three pieces are on. It looks just like that piece right now. So now we can trim next to B4 and add our dark rectangle. It's off the paper on each side, so now we can sew on the line next to B4 right here. And then I'm gonna get everything trimmed up and we can get it laid out. Here's my pieces trimmed up. This is our center piece. And then we want to take these bigger pieces and put them in opposite corners. And we want to make sure that our the L shape we have right here in our light color butts up right here on this seam. Same with this one. And that will be exactly the same up there. So what we need to do is put together our two pieces right here and then the two pieces down here in this row, and then we can put our rows together. And I think I will try ironing my pieces open, see how that works. We are flying through the blocks this week. There you go, there's my L4 George's Cross. That's kind of a cool looking block. Not too hard to put together either. I like those. Now we are on to our border piece, which is bottom row two, Lee's Woods. This is what it's gonna look like, and it's a bunch of different triangles. Um, they are a little bit different shaped triangles though, so that's about the only difference. Um, I've got a lot of pieces here. I do have all my cut pieces 
um, on my website and the link is down below in this description so I'm not going to go through them obviously the triangles you can see where they go um, but I'm going to also refer to my cheat sheet to figure out where they go also let's put this one together because a lot of these are real similar to that one so let's put this one together this one is basically very similar it's just different shapes it's exactly the same just different shapes so let's put this one together here's the pieces that I've put together so far that's what they look like they weren't too difficult to put together and they will resemble this piece so this is what we have here I have three orange triangles which I have I have one white triangle which I have right there and then I've got two rectangles for the corners and I have drawn this out on the back so we're going to start here with a orange triangle and then add our white triangle so orange triangle gets oriented like this quarter of an inch over the line between one and two white triangle gets oriented like that so I'm just going to make sure I have a quarter of an inch past this line right here and I've got plenty past there so now we can sew on the line between it doesn't matter which side I start on I do that a lot I'm sewing on this line but you would sew on the line in between this one and this one and if you're doing C1 you would do there there's my first two pieces I have trimmed for my third which is on top here grab another orange triangle line it up so I have I like to line up this point and this point so now we can sew on the line between C2 and C3 first three pieces now we're going to go over to what I have deemed four let's pretend this says four <laughs> I have trimmed and our triangle is oriented like this so flip it over make sure we have plenty of coverage over this line and we do so now we can sew on this line and when I have inside points like this I always lock stitch those points just so that they don't come unraveled and I don't I don't sew into there and then sew over it I just lock stitch I like that better personally triangles are on and now we're going to put on our corners so I have trimmed for five I'm going to use one of my rectangles here and line it up it's plenty big and sew on the line between the triangles and five and then I'm going to do the exact same thing for six get everything trimmed up and we can put it together here's my pieces I have section A B C D E and F and we need to put E and F together first right here and we have notches so you can see the notches line up with the edge of the other pieces so I'm gonna get this sewn together and I think I'll iron this open there's my bottom row put together so now I'm just gonna work my way up and I think what I'm gonna do is I'll probably iron towards this piece since there's no seams here but then I think I will iron all of these open so there we go just build from the bottom up there we go BR2 Lee's Woods it's been a pretty easy week this week I like it and the blocks are really pretty all right week 28's in the books and it was an easy week um, let me know what you thought of it let me know if you did any modifications like I did um, I'd love to hear from you see how it went for you so I'm just gonna populate my photo quilt um, again let me know if you're doing that too I do have a video on how to do that if you're new here and that link is in the description below this video um, and hit the subscribe button notification bell if you want to quilt along with us or do all the other fun stuff we got here so let's get going on populating my photo quilt I love doing this all right uh, we started with E11 wagon wheel and that's gonna go right there then we have F13 Tour de France and G11 Decisions 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 that's hard to say like that uh, 
We have L4, St. George's Cross, L4, and then we have BR2, Lee's Woods, and we have to rotate that. And I should have done that before I came here. So I'll go back and rotate that and get it in correctly before we do next week's blocks. Anyway, that's what it's looking like. I'm just in love with this. I'm having so much fun. Um, I love hearing from you and I love seeing your blocks. So share them on social media with hashtag DearJaneQAL and tag Canary Quilts, and I will share them on my social medias. But anyway, thanks so much for following along, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!